Implementing a language switcher in Next.js. Using I18N routing today, we'll explore how to set up a language switcher in Next.js with support for multiple languages. We'll use Next.js internationalization as our foundation. Key features of Next.js internationalization. First, visit the Next International Docs to understand its core features. Getting started. You'll find two routing options available in Next.js for implementing I18N1. Page Router. We'll proceed with the App Router option. Within this approach, you have two sub options with I18N and routing. Without I18N routing, we'll focus on the I18N routing approach. Below are the instructions to integrate it into your project. Step by step implementation. Step 1 Install required packages. Begin by installing the necessary packages for internationalization in your Next.js project. Step 2 Organize your folder structure. Create a folder named Messages inside the main directory of your project. Inside the Messages folder, add language-specific JSON files, on.json. For English translations, define your key value pairs as JSON. For Spanish translations, follow the same structure as in .json, but replace the values with Spanish equivalents. Step 3. Update next.config.mojs Modify the next.config.mjs file to include the AI 18N configuration. Copy the required code and place it in your project. Step 4. Create an I18N folder. Inside the SRC folder, create a new folder named I18N. Add a file named routing.ts in the i18n folder. Copy the appropriate code and paste it into this file. Step 5. Add middleware. Create a middleware file inside the src folder and add the required middleware logic for handling language routes. Step 6. Request file for I18 Grin in the I18N folder. Create a new file, e.g. request.ts, and copy the necessary code into it. Step 7. Create dynamic routes. Add a new folder named the slug in the app directory. Move all existing app-related files and folders into the slug folder to enable dynamic routing for language changes. Update the layout file to include the client wrapper component, which is a client-side component. Ensure to create this component separately and optimize its functionality. Key considerations. Request file. Ensure the path to the messages folder is correct. Routing file. Define your supported languages E, E, N, and E's and set a default locale for your application. Navigation. If you're using Use Router, modify it to support dynamic language routes. Create a new navigation.ts file in the SRC folder, defining language specific paths to streamline redirection. Using language keys in Components 1, import Use Router from your newly created navigation file. Use the Use Translations hook imported from Nextintel to access your language keys. 3. Apply the translations dynamically across your application. With these steps, you can successfully implement a robust language switcher in your Next.js project. Happy coding! Let me know if you'd like further refinements. Hey! <laughs>